What's up guys? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. Uh, if you're a supporter and you're returning, I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button below. Over the next few weeks and months, I'll be posting videos and more content about my car. But I'm pretty sure you guys have read the video uh, title up above. We're going to be rebuilding one of my wheels today. I already received my center caps from 3-piece. Uh, I'm pretty stoked on the overall look of my wheels. So I'm going to be showing you guys how my faces came out, the color I chose, everything. I have a few scratches on my lip. We still got to separate the barrels and polish the lips. But let me show you where I'm at with the barrel and the lip and then we'll go from there. So everything seems pretty good on my lip. It just needs to be polished once again. But overall they're in good condition. No nicks, no major scratches. I have one little scratch that I got to sand out and polish, but it's nothing major. So we also got to take off this silicone. I already kind of hit it with the blade, but we got to stick the blade in once again and separate them apart. And then we got to take off this silicone so we could put new silicone on here. Let's get into this guys and I want to show you guys my faces now. Here they are guys. So they're an ultra black chrome. I like it because when you hover over them, they have a different tone up on the face than the actual windows. Because when you look at them from the side, they tend to get darker, which I'm pretty happy because I have gold hardware, I have gold lug nuts, and I have gold center caps. So I'm hoping those pop out. But let's get straight into this, guys. And let's start taking off the silicone off the the lip in the barrel so we can separate them and then we'll completely remove the silicone but before we start actually doing anything I'm gonna to explain to you guys on what you guys will need for this whole rebuild process I have a blade obviously so I can take off the silicone and clean it up here's the valve stem uh, I usually save this for the last part of like the whole process just so it can make it easy on me so if I'm sanding and polishing I'm not trying to work around the valve stem but this is a great time to actually replace your valve stem if it's bad. I also have a torque wrench. The recommended spec for my wheel I believe is 22 foot pounds. I've been doing my rebuilds at 22 foot pounds on these. I would recommend that. The next thing I have is an extension with a 12 point. This 12 point is a 5 16. This is the actual size for my hardware. I don't know what type of hardware you're going to be using for your wheel rebuild process. This will vary on different wheels. So we're, get, we're going to actually be using a regular uh, ratchet to put the hardware in before we start torquing them down just to make sure they're all tight. You're also going to need some Loctite. Um, I only have blue as of right now so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to rebuild the whole wheel and then tomorrow I'm going to run AutoZone and go grab the red Loctite and put them around the bolts afterwards just so they don't reverse back out. And you're also going to be needing some polishing cream if you're going to try polishing your lips in this video. Unless your lips are brand new, you won't need this. Let's get into this, guys, and let's start cutting the silicone off the wheel. I prefer to actually start off like at an angle and try to like stick it in there. should be pretty good. Alright, so we already got the lip and the barrel separated. So what we're going to do next is we're going to actually work on one at a time. We're going to lay them both down. So grab your blade and start to actually take off as much silicone as possible. Now we're gonna actually move on to the lip now. I'll show you guys once we're done. Okay guys, so we just got done taking off all the silicone along the lip and as well 
the barrel just make sure you guys take your time on this step because you want to take off as much silicone actually you want to take all the silicone off because you want the lip and the barrel to be flush up against each other metal to metal and when you seal it you don't want the old silicone to be underneath the new silicone so make sure you just take your time I actually forgot to click record while I was doing this step I grabbed my blue magic metal polish cream my microfiber uh, rag and I polished my lip as you guys can see there's double holes in the reflection so I'm pretty happy all the way around they're pretty much there I'm happy just for being reused so let's move on to the next step guys you're gonna actually locate the valve stem hole as well as on the barrel and I'm gonna set up my camera for this next step but we're gonna be putting the lip over the barrel and we're gonna grab the face stick it in the lip and line it up as well alright so you're gonna locate the valve stem hole like I said on the barrel figure out where that's located at and then you're gonna find the valve stem hole like I said on the lip too as well and you're gonna line them up to each other as best as possible so the next thing you're gonna do is grab your face you're also gonna locate the valve stem hole within the face and line it up to the lip so place it in gently push it in there so everything is pretty much lined up right now the next thing you're gonna do is grab your hardware and put all your hardware in each hole my wheel contains 29 pieces of hardware and after you get the hardware in what we're gonna do is hand tighten each bolt just so we have the face sealed to the lip and the barrel but let me grab my hardware let me set in all my hardware in each hole and we'll continue the process now All right guys, just make sure you skip the valve stem hole. You don't want to put a piece of hardware in there and then when you get to the end you're wondering why you lost one or you don't have one. So we just got done putting in all the hardware. So what we're going to do now is grab our nuts and we're going to put all these nuts on the back end of each piece of hardware. So let me get this done now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off and I'll show you guys once I'm done and we'll stand the wheel up so we could actually hand tighten him and then we'll torque him. So we're on the last nut right now. I'm putting it in. So what I'm going to do now is stand up the wheel uh, and I'm going to grab the ratchet and I'm going to attach it to this extension with the socket. I'm going to use the 10 mil to hold the nut in the back and I'm just going to hand tighten each one. So let's get this done too. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off from the valve stem and work my way around so you don't have to repeat yourself, or I don't have to repeat myself, but let's get this done now. So as I was tightening these, they started getting loose, more loose as I went along the wheel. We're getting down to the last two nuts to tighten down. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to lay the wheel down and I'll switch out the ratchet for the torque wrench. I'm going to actually sit on the wheel so the wheel doesn't move as I'm torquing him. So let me get this set down and we'll start torquing him next. So grab your torque wrench, grab your extension, grab your socket once again, place them together. Set your foot pounds to 22 foot pounds. And what we're going to actually do first is I like to do a star pattern between these five actual spaces just so it's all torqued down evenly before I torque down the rest. Alright, so we just got done doing the star pattern. 
So what we're going to do next is start from the valve stem and work our way around and make sure each piece of hardware is torqued down correctly. So let me sit on it and let's start torquing these down. Just make sure you guys aren't over torquing them because you will strip these hardware. We're getting done torquing all these hardware down to 22 foot pounds. We're gonna move on to the next step now, which is applying the silicone between the lip and the barrel, just so it seals off. For this step, you're gonna need some tape, a caulking gun, some silicone, but we're gonna start off with the tape first. We're gonna apply it to the lip and the barrel. So when we apply the silicone, it doesn't make the job messy. And when you pull off the tape, it's a nice clean job. But let's apply the tape onto the lip. All right, so we just got the tape put on the lip side. So we're gonna actually flip it around and apply the tape to the barrel now. So for this step, you're gonna need your caulking gun, your silicone, the wheel is already masked off. So we're gonna actually be applying a little bit of sealant down the middle and make sure that you pack it as best as you can so it seals off properly and then we'll go back with the second coat and we'll apply more silicone and we should pretty much be done with the wheel guys the wheel will probably sit overnight dry and we'll take off the tape some other day but for now let me do this and let's get this done first Just trying to make sure that it's all packed down in there. It's really like sealed sealed. I do not want any air leaks. Alright, so we just got done putting the first coat of silicone on and we used our finger to seal it down in between the lip and the barrel. So what we're gonna do now is apply a good amount of silicone. Alright. So you're gonna need something with a hard edge. This is something that I just had laying around that was pretty, pretty good for the job, I should say. But you're gonna grab the edge, you're gonna put even amount of pressure on both sides of the lip and the barrel. You're just gonna push it down as best as possible. All sealed up, let the tape sit on for 24 hours, peel it off, you have a nice clean line. Alright guys, so we just got done rebuilding the whole wheel. It's the next day after. Uh, I have it right in front of me. So we're going to go outside. I'm going to give you guys a quick little video of my wheel. If you guys haven't liked this video, please give it a like. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And hopefully you guys have a good day, a good week. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.